Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off while exploring more of this other world and um, tossing with spiders, I guess? Yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. We also encountered a gnome here who's talking in riddles and whatnot, so we need to figure that out, I guess. And these look like giant blueberries. Mmm, I love blueberries. Can we eat them, or will that cause non-stop dumps? Which can also happen from eating too many blueberries. And I'm, of course, talking from uh, personal experience. Um, so I think the riddle said that we need to... It seemed to imply that we need to kill a bird. No one will ever see my tears again. Neither mortals of Galarian nor the ones who cursed me. I'm assuming that's the nymph lady. You wish to see me, my lady. My Skylark, your song is so sad today. What troubles you? Oh, is he the singing bird? Your last order, my lady. It frightens me. The seed of an ever-blooming flower is almost prepared, as you requested. But what will it bring? Oh, okay. I, I, I read it. The flower contains immense power. Power from which immense evil can be born. Monsters erupting on Galarian by the hundreds. In a crowded street, a busy tavern, near a baby's crib. Inside the baby itself! Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm pausing a lot in between these sentences, but, um, I just want to drive... That's exactly what we need. He wanted to see kingdoms in ruins? He will! I'm so mad! Oh man! I'm, like, stomping my foot and stuff. I'm like, it's kind of hard to see me because I'm just, you know, a little mist shape, but, uh, you know. And there's a primal giant spider. Where there's one, there's most likely 50 million, so, um, maybe we should heal up Fabrosi a little bit first. Why don't you drink some of these potions? Uh, I guess, since we don't really use the Cure Light Wound stuff anymore. Oh, so in case you're curious, I have a mod that lets me hold down Shift and then click something to um, use it immediately rather than having to right click it or whatever. So, yeah, that's what you're seeing there. All right, well, um, let's go tussle with that spider, because that apparently is what we do in the other world. Okay, I'm actually really glad that we uh, let Valerie take charge. Um, for Bosi, knock knock, hang back for the time being, we'll wait for... All right, for Bosi's getting bit in the face again. Again? Um, I know there's another Doom Spider, though. Oh, is it there? Is that it? Or is there not more? I'm assuming that's it. Not that I'm not grateful uh, that we're not tussling a 50 million of these bastards, but still. Oh, there's another one. Another Doom Spider has come upon. Um, hopefully they're not going... Oh, fucking hell. I fucking knew it. Fuck off. Stop fucking going after my back lines, you bitch. Eat shit, man. Unbelievable with these guys. So right fucking here, rude. I'm legit angry. I'm getting a, I'm getting a little saucy. Alright, uh, Jubilost, I think we'll just have to drown in uh, Cure Light Wound Potions. Oh my god. The rolls on this bastard are terrible. Three? Come on. Who the fuck does the quality control on the... Um, Potions here. Of course, there's another fucking asshole. Eat shit, Doom Spider. You guys are the worst. At least the Quick Spiders have the um, common decency to assure themselves as they approach my dudes. But not you. Nope. Just a bastard. Alright, so I'm assuming that we need to take off the lantern. Or at least turn it off and uh, find out what's going on there. But also, there's a bit of this area that we haven't explored yet, so let me just go find out what's going on there. Ah, okay, so we need to go from here. Didn't realize that this was a path that we hadn't explored yet. I... Uh, oh. It's so quiet here. I can't even hear my own heartbeat. It's Is my he heart still beating in my chest, or have they taken that from me too? Oh man, I'm just gonna lie here or vibrate vigorously or something. I don't quite understand what I'm doing on the ground, but I, I'm pulsating. Cursed. Cursed. Alone in silence. What am I to do? What? And my voice keeps changing, too. I don't understand why. Is that part of the curse, maybe? 
Okay. Oops. Didn't see that primal manticore. My bad. Um. There's a couple of primal manticores, it turns out. I'm assuming there's also a doom spider somewhere. No, for now at least, it's just a couple of manticores. All right, go for the other one, please. Thank you. And Valerie, please try not to have your uh, face bitten off by the uh, manticores. Fantastic. Knife time! Nice. Can we skin these bastards? We can. Um, why are they just... Why the fuck do they just have fruits? Alright, so... Um... They said that the bird needs to die by... Something else, right? The bird needs to die by... Oh shit, the gnome's not here to explain his stupid riddle. Um... Maybe we'll try drowning the bird then. Yeah... I'm assuming that's what it does, at least. Unless maybe you can drink the water? Drink the water! Or not. The pond is deep and the water cold. Although the surface still, you can hear faint whispers as if someone beneath the water is murmuring sadly to themselves. Let's gaze into the water. As you stare into the water for a time, you can see something... You see something odd. A reflection of a beautiful woman comes into focus, shifting on the bank, weeping. But as soon as you blink, the image is gone. This place is overflowing with the events of the past. Lindsay whispers, if only I knew its history, if only. Let's skip a stone across the water, I'm sure nothing terrible can come from that, right? The stone skips in the water, leaving circles on its surface, then finally disappears by the last so short splash. The pond falls silent, nothing stirs. Let's sip the water. The water tastes bitter, with no trace of salt, as the salt touches the tongue. Oh, with a trace of salt. As the salt touches the tongue, you feel a sharp pain in your heart, as if suddenly stabbed. Not with a blade, but a painful memory of something lost. I see. So we can't actually drown the uh, bird in that thing. Gotcha. Um. Then let me try putting the bird on the dais and then maybe killing it? I don't know if it's possible. What time is it? It is not really nighttime. It's kind of like early morning, I guess. Um. Hmm. Can I actually kill this thing? Is that possible yes. at all? Can you throw a bomb on it? Give the order. Can oh right, I just realized that we can't actually target um neutral things at all. Can we? Can we fireball this thing maybe? Hmm. I wonder if we're not supposed to do that. All right, let me try Shiggly. talking to L. Um. Nomo. Or whatever the fucking hell his name is. Does he actually have a name? I don't think he does. What's in wait for me there? Mm, hello? What? He's not here? Hold on. Um Are we not in the right area or Oh there we go. Okay, so what? Are there like three instances of this world or what? Alright, my dude. The, uh, okay, so the one that sings dies of desperation in the night. The one that is dead poisons the clear waters. The poison of born of death. This poison born of death is what can awaken the wrath and awaken the path. The one that sings dies of desperation in the night. The one that is dead poisons the clear water. Hmm. Dies of desperation in the night. Hmm. I'm sure it has something to do with a bird. But let's actually try exploring the area while in this, I guess, instance. Oh! Interesting. So I guess maybe the um, monster types are different uh, uh, depending on the instance we are in then. Gotcha. Uh, let's just get the bear to us. us. Thankfully, there only seems to be one. And no doom spiders around to uh, harass me. Or cyberbully me. Doesn't seem to help uh, Valerie not get her face bitten off, though, unfortunately. Jeez. With these fucking rolls. How, how exactly did that hit thing hit you? Oh, it's also capable of draining uh, levels. Wow. Okay, so it rolled a 19. Oh, no, it was a natural 20. What? You bastard. 
Step, step, step. Or it was a 19, but then it also did a crit roll or something. I don't know. Um. Okay, are there spiders back? Now these are trapped? Knock, knock more runner okay. I don't fucking think so. Quick spider swarm. Uh, Jubilost, can you just throw one of these instead rather than your own bombs? Thanks. Wow. That was terrible, Jubilost. Fucking terrible. Try it again. Or not. Thanks, Jubilost. Are these spider eggs? Because I'd really rather not deal with um, spider swarms. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's annoying uh, fighting one uh, enough as it is. To have to fight a uh, greater enraged owlbear. Oh, well, I'm sure that's... There's two of them. Mm, if they walk this slow, though, maybe we can actually draw them away from each other or something. Yeah. Alright, Valerie, bring them in. Alright, they're both coming in hot and heavy. Sure. Valerie, approach. Let's try to kill so this thing before this. Um, the other one approaches us. And of course, it will go after Fabrosi, because why not, right? And his face is getting bitten off immediately. Oof. Well, at least we're almost not missing, which is pretty impressive. Cool. Skin, please? What the fuck was that? Wow. What a weird spasm to have. Me keep. But I'm assuming all of these things will spawn uh, spider swarms, right? Right, knock, knock, go for it. Or maybe it doesn't. I did it. I did. Interesting. I found something interesting. Yep, I get it. A lot of fucking traps. I understand. Oh. All right, well, it seems that with the uh, diamond skin, we're actually able to um, not take any damage from these guys. So that's nice. But... Let's get Valerie uh, up close and personal. Yeah, I figured, figured that this would happen. Knock, knock. Uh, I guess, you know what? Yeah, why don't you distract yourself while you deal with the uh, swarm? Eat shit, swarm. Get out of here. Thank you. Alright, disarm this thing, please. Mm. Should I bring the bird? Maybe I should bring the bird. Just in case we need to... um. Did get it. You know what? We'll it. come back for it later, I guess. Oh, Valerie, get in close. Fuck these things, man. Which knife do you, you would think that um, triggering the trap would be the one to uh, spawn the um, spiders, but no. Apparently, just getting close enough um, is enough to, uh, you know, earn their ire, I guess. I this requires your attention. Yep, yep, I know, I know. More spider swarms, no? Ooh, shiny. Oh, these are, will yep. Just had to wait for Knock Knock to get in close, didn't you? Dickweeds. Can you not kill Knock Knock, please? Or not even harm him? He's a poor little goblin boy. Alright, all he's done is go around shiving people in the face. That's his only crime. And you're gonna, gonna hold that against him? It's just his nature. He can't, he can't help it. Anything? No? Alright. Then I'm assuming the other one has something. <laughs> Did it without breaking. I'm it. listening. Yes? No. Unless Okay. Not this time it turns out. Gotcha. I What's in Any more I traps? I found something interesting. I'm sure you did. I mean you found a giant cluster of blueberries. You deserved it. Oof. Alright, come on. Thankfully, despite being immune to a lot of the stuff, we can still do some damage to them, so that's nice. I wonder if it's mostly the concealment that's making it uh, difficult to hit them. Or if they have, like, natural uh, armor class or something. Like, a higher armor class than uh, than one would expect. I mean, they're a swarm, so it's kind of hard to, um, you know, target individuals in the uh, rank there, but still. All right, nothing new so far. Some ominous music playing, but I'm assuming that's nothing. Hmm. Shall Let me try going through this portal or this fog rather, and see where it takes us. Because this is a completely new. Oh my goodness! Ever blooming flower. Fuck me, okay. Um, I don't have the bird with me, is that a problem? 
Scrawny Hero. Ancient Wyvern? How would you like to boogie we'll oogie and you fucking way. guessed it, oogie? Oh. Um, there's a lot more than I expected. Not gonna lie. Stay behind me. Uh, can you maybe not do that knock knock? Thanks. All right, we might fight two at a time, but that's fine. Not sure what the yellow one does. But the ancient wyverns, we've kind of fought these kind of things before, so it's not too terrible, I don't think. And of course, now you have um. Fire speeding, a uh, spitting capability. So I'm gonna put some poison uh, protection from fire on us, just in case. Sure. And is he dead yet? He is indeed dead. Fantastic. Great. So I'm assuming the uh, different color uh, wyverns do different elemental damage or whatever, or have special abilities or all that such. All right. Thank you. Oh, you Christian! How could you? Unbelievable. All right, Mr. Everblooming Flower, can I speak to you? I can. The petals of this huge flower are glowing with a soft light, and its scent carries a hint of spice, which you can find, which you find uh, strangely relaxing. Despite this, however, you can't help but notice the sprouts and spikes of the plant that uh, look fanged, almost predatory. Used to detect magic, a shining magical aura surrounds the Everblooming Flower. It seems so familiar, exactly like the magic. Uh, emanating from the bodies of the bloom victims, but stronger, much stronger. There's no doubt you found the source of this disaster. Let's not destroy it just yet. I'm assuming that it has something to do with... Oh, hold on. Turn on the mist. Or the fog thing, rather. And, um... Oh, this is just a different version of that area. I see. Huh. Um... Okay. Okay, so I guess the only way to come in here is through that fog then. Alright, uh, then I'm gonna save and try destroying it, but I'm assuming that there's gonna be more to this than just destroying the flower, right? Whatever enchantment the flower possesses, you are still able to hack it down easily and the glow fades. Ah! Ever-blooming flower. Huh. Interesting. At first I said, no, I can't. All right. Um then I think we might need to go back and then solve the riddle first and then we can um maybe interact with this thing properly. All right. Interesting. I wonder how many instances there are because I know there's two at least. Hmm. So this, in this instance, this area is blocked off, but we still can still get there through here. Maybe we bring the bird? Maybe the bird needs to die on the uh, thing there. Hmm. The bird dies of desperation at night, right? Does that mean that we need to kill it in a certain way, or... Hmm. Or maybe... I wonder... Maybe there's like a day version and a night version. Maybe that's what they mean. Like day version of this um, instance and a night version of this instance or something. So many thoughts, and obviously so I'm many using um, phrases or, you know, words will and nilly, so... You know, maybe not necessarily instances or whatever. Alright. Uh, destroy the flower now, but I'm assuming it's just going to grow back, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. So, how do we kill the bird then? We might want to just try blasting it. Yeah, let's just, you know, take out our guns and start blasting, I guess. Sure. But I think we might need to set it down on something first. All right. Um. So from here. Uh. Again, this is the blocked instance, or not? Oh. I guess we've kind of circled around or something. Hmm. So this leads up there, and that's the area where we fought the. Uh... Oh, what if we try a different version of this world up there instead? 
I crave for adventure. Yeah, let's try that. So, this is the one where the gnome is not here. And the bird is in my inventory. I'm going to try going through this uh, distance. now. And that'll lead us to up there, where we fought the um, treant like uh, Albert and one. After a couple tries, that is. Well, maybe after maybe one try. Um, all right, so let's try the other version of that world here. Sure. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's new. Don't hesitate. Valerie, go for the poisonous uh, primal. What you call it? Oh, you know what? We should have actually uh, brought it to us here instead. Oops. That's fine. Not not used to Go for it. Kill these things. First. Yeah, yeah holy shit. It's funny how we're having an easier time fighting the Magikors than we do the spiders. I mean, what level is this thing? 12. Wow. Lawful evil. Really? A Manticore? Lawful? I thought most beasts were just chaotic or neutral, but interesting. Oh. Um, I wonder if the fruit has anything to do, to do with it. Oh, is there no entrance to this uh, to that area from here? Oh. Um curious. So, how does one get into this hidden creepole area? I'm assuming we can't. Unless we can get there and then somehow switch over? Right, but that's... That's the uh, tree ant thing, right? Or no? I'm confused. Huh. Um, maybe it actually needs to be nighttime. It is currently 6 in the morning. Does that mean I have to, like, rest for a couple of hours, or like, a couple times in a row? I'd really not rather not waste time right now, but... Hmm... I wonder if we need to discover it again. Because that entrance, that creepo was hidden in the first place. Maybe not? Oh. Quick, quick. Else we miss all the fun. Huh. Well, this is the instance or the version in which we do want to explore that area, but I guess we can't. Hmm. Alright, let's try putting the bird on here and then just killing it. Um, unless maybe I'm supposed to put the bird with something else? Like, do I put the bird with some spider legs or some fruit? Some vegetables, maybe? Hmm. Unless maybe I can poison it? Which I kind of doubt. Alright, let's try, let's try uh, blasting this thing then. Quiet. I'm thinking. Uh, does anyone have any aggressive spells that they can use? Besides Tristan's fireball, which seems a little excessive. Really? Oh, I guess we have a very uh, abundant lack of uh, spellcasters in our team. Fair enough, okay. I'm gonna try fireballing the hell out of this uh, bird. And see what comes of it. I'm assuming nothing. Yep, it's still alive. It's immune to fireball, it turns out. Gotcha. Alright, so it turns out that maybe killing the bird on the uh, dais is not the way to go. Hmm... Bird dives of desperation at night. Okay, well, uh, since I've saved it, let me try sleeping a couple of times and then waiting until it's night time. Maybe it'll just die by itself. Oh, it is, it is dead! Oh, wow! Okay, so that's what they meant. Okay, so I guess we need to put the bird on there and then rest? Sure. Um, so then we use the bird's carcass to poison the water, I think. Throw the bird's bones into the water. The bird, the bones of the bird disappear in the depths of the pool, and suddenly the water's surface heaves, uh, darkens, uh, boils, it changes color, and now looks swirling, furious, and menacing. Collect water from the pond. Fantastic. So then we use the water and uh, mix it with our pee and semen and blood, and then we are able to... Um, I guess maybe destroy the world 
with our weird mixture of uh, semen blood and uh, bird bones and poison? Perhaps? Or we feed it to the uh, water. Oh, that's what it is. Quick, quick. Yep, yep. Oh, I get it. All right, not that complex of a um, riddle. It was just the bird dying of desperation at night thing that kind of threw me off a little bit. What's in wait for me there? And by a little bit, I mean a lot. All right, drop the poison from the lake on the petals. As soon as the poison falls on the petals, the petals blaze with a bright crimson light. The air on the uh, flower trembles, either in heat or supernatural wrath. Um... We'll do it the hard fuck! Way. I knew it was gonna be a fight. Aw, oh, man, I should have prepared. Dang, Nabbit. Um... Any chance that we can... get through this fight without dying really hard? Oh my god, this thing's got a fucking blur or displacement thing on it. Son of a bitch. Let's glitter dust the hell out of it. And of course, Fabrosi's getting his uh, face ripped off, which is not great. Son of a bitch, we may want to reload and uh, get prepared for this fight before doing this. Or we might be able to get through it without um, too much difficulty, knock on wood. Let's bless. Fabrosi, try not to die, please, if you can. I know it's hard. I know it's very tempting. What the fuck did I just say, Fabrosi? What did I just say about dying? I told you to not do it, and yet here you are, face planting on the ground while your uh, companions are, well, maybe not struggling. Is there more to fight? A familiar silhouette emerges from the mist. It is a gnome from before, walking slowly towards you. He stops before the flower and stares at it for several moments. Well done, child. But your work here isn't finished yet. Before you go your way, a question. You've seen the story of the trespasser. You've seen her fall. Love and pride brought her to this. You follow the same path. You also crave the crown. Why? Lawful good, my duty is to make the world a better place. Neutral are good, to prevent suffering of others if I can. Chaotic good, adventure, that's what I've always desired. Lawful neutral, the stolen lands needs order at any cost. Neutral, it was just circumstances. Chaotic neutral, oh, I was just passing by and noticed a line of candidates for the position of Baron. <laughs> Lawful evil, the world needs to be governed by my rule, no other. A thirst for power, lives, destinies, they're all just toys for me to play with. Lawful evil, the world needs to be governed by my rule and no other. The world has heard many claims like that, but they're rarely honored, either by the speaker or their subjects. The gnome gives a half nod, then tilts his head and looks at you intently. Words, words, words can be marked, stirred by the wind. A trifle, a wisp of smoke, but then... But when they are spoken in the right time and place, words can possess the power of a storm. At some point, a long time hence, you'll recall this moment and your answer. Oh, does that mean that I've locked myself into a certain, um, thing now? I've sold your riddle, but what do I do next? So is the goddesses... This goddess who created this flower and all my troubles were due to her? Um, I've solved your riddle, but what do I do next? You must extinguish the wrath, quench it with fire, but it won't be easy. A flower blossoms in two worlds at the same time, here and in your homeland, Galarian. Its existence links the two worlds and cruelly casts creatures between them. If you destroy the flower in only one world, it will grow back. You must kill it in both worlds at once. But beware, violence breeds violence, and wrath breeds wrath. You've awakened the flower for it was only the way the only way to destroy it, but awakened, it summons all kinds of monsters, and they are filled with the same wrath as that which gave life to the plant. After you slay the monsters born from its seeds, burn that wonderful vile flowering blossom. Let flame consume it. But remember, the fire must happen in both worlds at the same time. If you burn the flower only here, or only in Galarian, it will sprout again, and again, and again. Okay, um, can I still get back to Galarian if I destroy the flower? Don't worry about that. The portals opened by the flower will live long enough. So it was this goddess who created this flower and all my troubles were due to her? The gnome is silent for a moment and then speaks. I cannot say yes or no. The truth shifts and evaporates like a morning mist. Aren't your troubles the uh, blood spilt from the blade of your own choices? The gnome raises an eyebrow. These troubles that beset you. This is not all. There will be many more. Know this, when you catch a fleeting shadow out of the corner of your eye and turn to look, but it's gone. It's her shadow. If you hear footsteps behind you and nothing seems there, it's her footsteps. And you hear them only because she wishes you to hear her approach. What? 
It is so you know her blade is never far from your back. Okay, so it's time to get to it then. Let's split up and destroy the flower in both worlds simultaneously. Um... I guess? Uh... Sure. Actually, I have some business to take care of here first. Oh, okay. Um... Destroy the seed-bearing flower. Sure. I'm just gonna heal up for Brosy a little bit first. Christian, I think... I'm listening. Having three, um, wounded heal team members might actually warrant Cure Light Wounds Mass? 1d8 only, though. Oh, plus one per uh, caster level. I see. Uh, let's just do one of these. Sure. Maybe one more? A little bit better. Okay, I think that's... Oh, maybe I kind of wasted their uh, heals. Actually, no, not for Valerie nor... Well, maybe for Knock Knock a little bit, but that's fine. Alright, well, uh, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and um, I guess we'll split up and try to burn the flowers at the same time or something? Sure, why not? And I guess I'll try to uh, heal up for Brosi in between episodes with some potions or scrolls or whatever. I'll do my best at least. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!